Location, location, location. Selecting a new location for a manufacturing plant, a warehouse, a department store, or a new hotel or cafe is an important strategic decision with long-term implications. This decision has a major overall impact on the profit of a company. Location can make or break a business strategy. For Hard Rock Cafe International, location decisions begin with a global view. In what country should they place their next hotel or restaurant? Oliver Monday, Hard Rock Senior Director for Cafe Development, has 20 years experience in finding the best spots. First, he has to choose the right country. When we're looking uh, around the globe at, at new markets, um, we're looking at countries and we're looking at cities and we're looking at regions. Um, in the US, uh, we've had a, a fairly a complete development program, um, so we're casting our net somewhat further afield. We're looking heavily in Europe um, and in Latin America uh, and in some parts of Asia. Now, in all of these markets, you're dealing with a host of different considerations. Um, so we really have to, going in, uh, look at everything. Uh, we've got to look at uh, political risk. Uh, we've got to look at currency risk. We've got to look at uh, social norms, uh, considerations uh, of how our brand is going to fit within the context of that country, that region. Um, we have to look at social costs, we have to look at ways of doing business. Uh, all of these things have to be studied, analyzed, uh, the information has to be uh, reviewed very closely and then hopefully we come up with uh, an intelligent decision uh, at the end of the day. Once a country is selected, then Oliver focuses on a region and a city. He has a large number of additional factors to evaluate. We've really got a, uh, a dual approach at the moment. Um, when we're looking at a market, once we feel comfortable uh, that it has the right blend of characteristics for us, and by that I mean um, demographically, uh, it has a population uh, that's big enough to support a hard rock cafe. Um, that the disposable income uh, in that particular region is adequate uh, for us, um, that it gets a healthy volume of visitors, both uh, from a business perspective and also uh, tourism. Um, as long as it has that combination uh, of factors, uh, then we feel comfortable going to that market and studying where we should be. Then, of course, we've got to decide where are we going to go? Are we going to go uh, to a new development? Are we going to go to the middle of the city? Uh, are we going to be uh, in a more suburban location? Uh, our tendency is very much to, uh, uh, to focus uh, on the city center, uh, where most of the nightlife is, where most of the activity is, uh, where it's concentrated. Um, and so in Europe at the moment, we're looking at a, uh, a number of locations there. Um, we've, last year, we, we signed a deal uh, in Russia to do a hard rock in Moscow, um, right in the middle of the city. Um, it took a long time to put together, uh, but that deal is going to be a franchise uh, for the simple reason that we would not dream of operating ourselves uh, in that kind of environment by ourselves. We obviously need to have uh, a local partner. Uh, it's a city where connections speak louder than words, and so we need to have a local partner. So franchise is the uh, is the right way to go in those set of circumstances. Um, we're looking in Portugal at the moment, in Lisbon. And we've looked in Lisbon for a long time. Um, and um, we're back there again. We think we have a deal, but you know, things take time in that country. And uh, as I said, we've been there before. Um, and we came close several years ago uh, and didn't make it. So um, some of these markets you have to keep trying. I know it's a great market to be in. Uh, it's a beautiful city. It wants to have a hard rock, uh, very, uh, very definitely. That's been made clear to us uh, in no uncertain terms. But um, finding the right piece of real estate and the right deal uh, to get us in there um, does take time sometimes. Oliver's selection of a site within a city is not a quick decision. When I'm looking at a city, um, it's common for me, if I'm not f that familiar with it, um, to probably go there by myself, first visit. Um, not talk to anybody, not uh, 
uh, arranged to be shown around, but just to go there myself to let, uh, let me get a better feel for what I think the city's like. And I find uh, there's nothing better than hitting the pavement and walking up and down and uh, spending a couple of days uh, understanding what goes on uh, in that city and just getting a feel for it in general. Um, I like to think that now I've developed the ability to be able to feel uh, which parts of a city uh, we should be in. Um, and obviously you look at uh, where other uh, restaurants, bars and nightclubs are located um, and you look a little bit at, at, um, at how the city has developed um, over the years. Um, we're making long-term decisions. Uh, we're not making uh, a decision that is going to be uh, irrelevant in a 24 or 36 month period. We're signing a 10 or 15 year lease and sometimes longer. Because of that, uh, we also have to anticipate what's happening. And what today may be the best location in a particular city uh, in 10 years time may not be. And so it's very difficult, but you do have to try and think ahead and try and understand where that city is going. And all cities move over time, as we all know. Um, there's been a a tremendous resurgence in, in city centres, both in, in North America and in Europe over the last 10 years. And cities are coming back, and they're coming back very strongly, and people are moving back downtown, and the, the pendulum is swinging away from the, uh, the suburban lifestyle. Uh, and if people can feel safe uh, and the schools are good, then they'll, they'll live downtown, because quite frankly, it's, it's, it's more fun. Uh, Within that context, uh, we're looking at where we should be in those cities and are we going to be relevant there in five and ten years' time. Once a site is selected, Oliver conducts a break-even analysis on the location. This requires evaluating either one, purchase and construction on a new site, or two, remodeling an existing site. Identifying both the fixed and variable costs, Oliver determines if Hard Rock's required break-even point is achievable. When a site is deemed worthy, Hard Rock negotiates to secure the site and then begins construction. The whole process comes to a close when grand opening day arrives and celebrations begin. But Oliver can't stick around. He's off to scout yet another perfect location for the next grand opening. 